I just did an acknowledgement of you a few moments ago before we had all the flippity floppity Zoom stuff. I said, thank you for being here. It reminds me why I love to teach. I feel excited for our time together and I want you to know you matter. Why, why, why would I start a session out like that? Because we have an opportunity to do a, a learnable, teachable skill every single day with our students and people in our lives called acknowledgement. Why would we want to take time to acknowledge people? Because it calms everybody down. It creates openness and receptivity. And it's really about deepening the safety, support, and the belonging that happens as a result of doing an acknowledgement. So I started our session by just acknowledging you and here's why. We are um, just, we're just more receptive and open when we're in that space of acknowledgement. So now I wanna teach you how to do it because I want this session to be something you can use tonight when you go home. And so it's a simple strategy, grab a pen and piece of paper, pencil something, and just write down OTFD. Because what I did is I just followed this exact thing with you guys just a moment ago. I said, thank you for your presence here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. Okay. And then I said, um, it reminds me of why I love to teach. I feel energized. And what I want you to know is that you matter. Now, here's the thing. One of the things I said, I'll just tell you straight out in, in my experience on Zoom with kids in middle school, uh, and because I have a relationship, is I said to some of my kids um, just recently, hey, listen, if your camera's off and you're hiding out, from me, then you're probably hiding out from other amazing opportunities that are in front of you. I love you. Please turn your camera on. Does that make sense? And I could also say it through an OTFD. I could say, um, I'm noticing, you know, individually or collectively, I could make a comment like, I am seeing so many people with their cameras on. Thank you so much. That makes me think that you really want to connect. And I just feel excited about that. I want to invite everyone to do that because this is a safe place for us to connect each day. And I want you to know that I see you, you matter, you're important, and I appreciate it. And I know there's lots of stuff going on, um, but thank you for showing up and being here. Okay. So this is how you do it. All right. And so I want you to actually do this right now. I want you to choose a person, choose the person that you want to acknowledge tonight. It could be like my daughter, Lucy. Lucy made the A team for basketball. Okay, that's a big deal. Sixth grade, but now she's had a lot of time off. So I chose, I, I choose the person and I give her some facts. Lucy, I noticed you've been playing outside and uh, that's what I was going to say. It's been like um, not winter in Minnesota up here. It's been like 50 degrees yesterday. It's so awesome been like 50 degrees. I've seen you outside really shooting and playing hard. What I want you to know, it, it just reminds me that anybody that puts in hard work, those efforts are going to pay off. And um, I just feel proud of you and I feel excited for you. And what I want you to know is that people who work hard usually get into the college of their choice. People who follow and are disciplined and obedient with a structured program that their coach provides usually find really good results. So here's what I want you guys to do. You can do this in small, small moments. Like, hey, Zoe, my fourth grader, thank you for taking out the trash. It reminds me of how responsible you are for the little things. I feel happy that that trash chore is handled. And what I want you to know is people that can do the little things right, get to do bigger things as they go along in life. So that's what I wanted to communicate. So I, I hope you're thinking right now, think of a student, okay? Write their, write their name down. Everybody done that? Yes, raise your hand if you've got your student down. And now do number two, what is a factual thing that you've seen them do? Effort, energy, attention. What does it remind you of? Listen, what, what is it when someone actually listens to you? What does that remind you of? Oh, that room just thank you for listening to me. It just reminds me of how important it is to just feel heard. I feel I feel your empathy. 
Um, and I feel your presence and listening and I feel, it makes me feel happy. Feeling is just one word, like one word of how it feels. And then what I want to communicate is it really made a difference for me um, when you just let me process and talk out loud. Okay. All right. So action is the name of the game here. So we get into action. We experience something that works. We get into action about it. So take a moment and write that down. Observation, facts, what are, reminds you of the feeling and what you want to communicate. And I'll give you 37 more seconds. Thumbs up if you need more time. Wave your hand if you've got yours all done. Couple hands, couple hands. Okay, keep going, you're doing great. Here's what I want you to know for sure. About one in a thousand teachers does this effectively, but the teachers that do get a higher effect size with their students, they get more participation, more engagement. They have better marriages, they have better relationships. And we know that the number one determinant of student success is relationship. People feeling like they are seen and heard and appreciated and respected. So I hope that you can use this right away. I wanna share a couple of more things. Let's take a look at the three to one ratio that changes lives. The acknowledgement is a way to also validate Barbara Fredrickson's research that when we're positive in very specific ways, people are more receptive and calm and we really build deeper connections with them. So please know that doing an OTFD is like a five to one ratio. It's like a big, like, woohoo! it's like a big, powerful thing to do. And once we learn it and get really good at it, if you just learned one thing from now until the end of the year and did this habitually over and over and over again, and you thought about facts, what it reminds you of, feelings, future, facts, findings, feelings, future. Okay, what are the facts? How's it making me feel? What do I want to communicate? That would literally change the way in which people around you connect. And it really, and it also changes literally student achievement. So I'm not coming, um, I'm not sharing this casually. I went through a, a health crisis where I um, had to face, I faced my own death. I didn't know if I was going to be here or not. And thankfully they found, removed uh, some chaotic cells from my body and I did chemotherapy and radiation and I am alive and kicking. Almost um, two years and three months later, I am standing here talking to you. Why do I bring this up? Because the acknowledgement and the deepening uh, here's what I think. I went through my own personal pandemic a couple of years ago. The rest of the world is going through their own personal pandemic with the chronic stress related to COVID-19. I call it COVID-19 fatigue syndrome. It's a real thing. Zoom fatigue is a real thing. So I'm not bringing this up as like a cheerleader, bright. And it's like, this is non-negotiable for me. The way I communicate to myself and others with empathy, compassion to deepen my relationships, it's the most important thing at the end of the day because none of us are getting out of here alive. So how do I want the quality of my relationships and the quality of my life to be? Before this time, I was hustling, overworked. I mean, workaholic for sure, tendencies, um, not eating and taking care of my nutrition and my exercise the way I do now. And I just got really jammed up here. Thankfully, there's a cure for what I went through. I went through that procedure and I've got uh, literally many decades ahead of me um, by doing the procedures and things that I did. I bring this up because I want you to take care of yourself. And during the pandemic, um, I literally wrote this book. I started writing it in March. Um, because I had published my story as a Brene Brown Dare to Lead trainer. That's part of that training where you, you write out your whole story of kind of like the worst thing that's ever happened to you. 
So I published my story in this book, and this book is just a habit and a tool that you can put by your bedside before you go to bed, and you can write out some gratitudes. And there's some stories in there. There's grateful quotes. There's thankful um, messages in there throughout the entire book. And I want to share this message every day until I am done on this planet to have an attitude of gratitude, hope, and optimism. It's not going to happen to us by accident. We're going to have to take deliberate, intentional steps to turn our mindset around. At any given moment in the day, I'm either spiraling up in a positive way or I'm spiraling down. So where the attention goes, the energy flows. So I really wanted to share this book with you guys as a tool that if you use it, you could also use it with your students. Every day when you start your Zoom, take 30 minutes, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, <laughs> 30 seconds and just have kids talk about what are you grateful for? What are you looking forward to? There's a couple of exercises in the book about ABC, uh, A through Z, ways of being grateful. There's a parable in there, nice fun story. And then my story I publish and then tons and tons and tons of quotes and cool things just as a great resource. I think we need to feed our brain intentionally good stuff. Why? Because it literally changes our brain. It changes the cellular makeup of our brain and our body. So if you want to fight against the headwinds of today, look at what you want to do on those intentional, uh, on that intentional side of cognitive training. Part of cognitive training is knowing how to be grateful. It's knowing how to pick yourself up out of a negative and move it into a positive. There's somebody that needs to meet them. Thank you, Tracy. Um, thank you for being on the case there. So nutrition, exercise. Listen, 40-year-old men who had never exercised a day in their lives started an exercise program. The researchers followed them all the way through to their 90s. When you exercise, you create more plasticity, create new neurons in your brain. It's called neuroplasticity. And epigenics is a real thing, you guys. So when I'm talking about being grateful, it's all part of the package. It's one slice that we have immediate control over right away and that we can do with our students. Why not? That's what I write in the book. We have an audience that we get to talk to every day, our students. So let's shift their brains towards the better. Okay, so remember this, specificity matters. Eye contact matters, like look at that green dot on your computer and just look into people's eyes, like you're right there with them. Like I see you, um, slow down the hurry, the indecision and just be with people and then taking action matters. So here's the thing. If you take action on this tonight and tag me on Twitter, um, I want to hear about what you did. If you did the gratitude, if you um, were able to take action on this, okay? And um, the I have a kind of like a special idea gift um, that I want to do with anybody that that tags me there. And I also want you guys to um, I do I want you to buy my book <laughs> because all my events were canceled this year live. And I have like a ton of books in my garage. So let me know. You can go directly to my website and buy the book. And um, like, I'm not getting any, I'm not getting paid for this, but I thought I could do this. If, if some people bought the book, that would really be awesome. So I'm just going to shamelessly plug my own book. And I hope that the strategy that I shared with you is valuable and useful. And I know and promise if you really work it, you'll find great results with it. So look at that. 403. We did it. Would anybody like to share a quick question or a thought? I And Tracy, will you give me everybody's feedback from today's session so that I can like, what did you like? Was it an effective presentation? Was it useful? How might you use it? Um, I have been doing these 20 minute things with Thornton Township in Chicago, my um, the high school down there, uh, Sumner County, Ames Academy in Salt Lake City, Utah, 
20 minutes we get on every other week and we just, everybody shares a gratitude. And here's the thing, you guys, here's the, the big kicker. One of the teachers had the cross country team get on there. When the cross country team got on there and they were with the students and the teachers and everyone was sharing, kids were like this, what? Like, it was so cool because we never, we don't ever have conversations like this as a collective where it's adults and kids. So I want to encourage you, um, or, you know, I'm happy to do another one in a couple, I don't know, in the new year or whatever, but man, when I saw that, it was really powerful. All right. So thank you. I love you guys. Even though we might not have ever met in person, I see you. I appreciate you. Crystal, thanks for the smile. Megan, I'm glad you're here. Bonnie, Kristen, Amanda, thank you guys so much. Did anyone have any other comments or questions? Yes. Kristen, OTFD daily habit. You guys, that's the thing. Oh, that's my closing statement. That is my closing statement. When everything else falls away, the habits, routines, and systems that you have in place will stick. So even though I went through a crazy tornado health storm, crazy storm, I've kept gratitude journals for 14 years. Like I have, a, I have stacks of them. And that mindset, it doesn't mean bad things are not going to happen to us. It means though I had a place along with my faith tradition to really, really lean on gratitude, optimism, and hope. Okay. Mwah. Love you guys. Thanks for letting me share. Woohoo, 405. Go have an awesome rest of the day. I'm going to walk by Lake Minnetonka with my kids. All right. Sixth grade science. Love it. Okay, go. Yes. Order from my site. I I would love, love, love to send you lots of books and your friends and your relatives and your teacher gift. All of a sudden, it's gonna be great. Okay, awesome. You have a good afternoon too. Yeah, cool. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> Bye, Lupe. Coach Sandoval, see you later. Derek, Doris, Mike, Coach Michael Smith. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. So will you send me the, or wait, I have the recording. Are you have the recording? I recorded it so I can okay. share it. And then also that reflection slideshow, I will, once it's all complete, I will share it with you because it's already amazing. So okay. you're going to love reading it. Okay. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you so, so much. Yeah, it was great. Great okay. to see your face. I know. <laughs> okay. See you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.